just about to get to port in Antigua. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We've just been having such a great time. The weather has been exceptional, like this time of the year in like South Caribbean places, phenomenal, highly recommend it. It is so hot. Weather is just beyond amazing. Beaches are phenomenal and we're just having the best time. So as always, I start off all of my days showing you my bikini fit of the day. This is from One Swimwear and it's been one of my favorites. I've had this for so many years and it's lasted really like a long time. So today we're gonna be swimming with the Stingrays. We have a three hour Stingray swim experience. I've done it once with my family in Cayman Islands, but Daniel's never swam with the Stingrays aside from yesterday, which you would have seen in our Barbados vlog. I will link that vlog above, but we did happen to see some amazing Stingrays when we were swimming with the turtles and all the tarpon, these like huge fish. Anyways, it's such an amazing time. Make sure you go watch that video if you haven't already. So if you're just popping on to this video now, this is part of our honeymoon series. My hubby and I did a delayed honeymoon because we got married during COVID. So we're getting our honeymoon in a couple years later. So this is hubby's outfit of the day. Love it. Look at the underneath part of the hat. You saw earlier in the vlog series. <laughs> I gotta stay protected. Yeah, I gotta stay protected. Gotta stay protected. And where'd you get this outfit from? Which outfit? Your outfit of the day. People, this? Yeah. Secret. It's a secret. I don't tell my stuff because then everyone's gonna want it. <laughs> but it gives people inspo. Come on. Oh my god. But you are looking more bronzed. Oh yeah. On the video you do. You don't look as burned on the video. Let's see your feet. <laughs> oh my god. So you excited for Antigua? Daniel doesn't want to sting with the, uh, swim with the stingrays. He's nervous. He thinks we're going to be in big trouble. My wife never heard about Steve Irwin before, so clearly. <laughs> I've done it before. You have to just be cautious and watch the animals. And Normal people go to the beach, they swim in the ocean, they float, they get a tan. Us, no. we got to go sting with deadly animals in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> it's going to be great. Stay tuned for the reaction of this guy on the GoPro. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and watch. I love you. Look at this hat. So now we are gonna go have breakfast, um, get all kind of just ready for the day, and we'll see you in the port of Antigua. So in the port, there's a bunch of different shops. So we were just killing time before going to our tour by looking at all the different stores. You'll see in a second what happened, but we ended up at this beautiful beach, just perfect waters. It was so sunny, it was amazing. And then here's what happened. So we were supposed to do a three hour stingray experience, but the company that we booked with through TripAdvisor, I will have it linked on the screen. They canceled our booking literally like- 10 minutes before? Like, yeah, 10 minutes before. It was like the most upsetting thing ever because we were so excited to go to the Stingray experience and we wasted literally half our day here. So now we finally made it to Friar Beach on the Caribbean side of Antigua. And we Which had- It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Beautiful day. It's unfortunate, right? A lot of these tour companies, they overbook and who knows? Who and knows then the tourist is the one that, you know, is the one that misses out. So anyways, we did some research last minute made it to a beautiful beach here, Friar Beach, and now we're gonna enjoy the sunshine. Antigua, Friar Beach, 
beautiful. Look at that turquoise water. It is hot, sunny, and this beach is very safe. There was a couple other beaches, I'll have them listed below on the screen, that were apparently very dangerous. There's a lot of robbery, theft to tourists, so we decided not to go there. They're supposed to be beautiful beaches, but because of the theft factor and we didn't want to have any issues, we decided to come to this beach, which is still remote, but not full from all the tourists from the cruise ship. So it's a little bit more secluded away, which is our type of vibe. We like to find more of like the hidden gems on all these different islands and experience more of the local vibe of the island. We're at the Tamarine Hills Resort on Friar Beach. It is beautiful. spending time in the sun we wanted to come cool down so we came to this really cute little beach bar beach restaurant right at the end of the beach you can access this by the road be driven there as well as obviously walk there from the end of the beach they had a great terrace you can have lunch there drinks cocktails whatever you like and we decided to do this prior to our jet ski experience which you'll see in a moment but this whole area was such a vibe we absolutely loved it <music> such a blast jet skiing it's such an awesome experience we highly recommend it it's a great way to see all the different beaches all the different resorts and just seeing the island from the ocean side it was a 30 minute experience and we rented jet skis from a local on the beach they have different companies you can rent them and it was so worth it here's our amazing lifeguard that makes sure that we're all good here on the island what's your name seven beautiful Awesome. Are you having a good time here? Amazing time. Were you uh, born in Antigua? Yes, I am. Born wow. Right here. Would you ever leave or are you going to stay here forever? No, I've been. I'll go to the different Caribbean islands, but you know, oh, cool. I'm going to stay here for a while. Nice. Where's I love your... it here. I know. It's beautiful. Look at the nice beach. I bet you will be here every time you get the chance. To. Yes. Oh, we love it. This is my second time back here. Yeah? Yeah. You time to come back a third time? I, I think so. I mean, there's a lot of beaches here to try out. You should come back all the time. Yes. We're well, for What's sure. The best beach? Uh, it's hard to say what's the best beach because there's a lot of good beaches. Yeah. Right, no, I mean, they're... You guys don't need to go on a beach tour when you come here. Yeah. After the beach, we headed back to the ship to enjoy a snack. And if you haven't seen my Celebrity Beyond ship tour video, I'll have it linked above for you and you have all the excitement behind the scenes of the ship. And then we decided to go watch the beautiful sunset before getting ready for dinner. And it was just so spectacular. All right, guys, so we're all freshened up. We just had an awesome day in Antigua. I'm wearing this really cute, just nice, simple, white, strappy... Princess Polly dress. It has this really cute little detailing in the front. Love it. I guess the cool thing we learned today is there's 360 beaches in Antigua. I don't know if that's perfectly valid, but that's what we were told today along with our travels. And the glow is really coming. It's looking, I think this is the darkest and most tan I've been in such a long time. So it feels good. 
and the hubby. So we're gonna go have dinner, we're gonna go chill, we're gonna hopefully meet up with some friends on the cruise that we've met, some from Canada, some from Virginia. If they're watching, you guys rock, and it's been so fun getting to know you guys. And then Daniel and I are just gonna enjoy the rest of our evening. So St. Kitts, we are heading to tomorrow, and that'll be the last port of our cruise, and then we have two sea days home. So if you are excited for St. Kitts, make sure you stay tuned because that'll be coming next on my channel, part of our honeymoon series. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We're going to go chill. If there's anything cool that happens, I'll just plug it in at the end of this video, but I'm going to sign off here. And thank you so much for being here. You guys rock. So we finished off our evening going for a nice walk outside on the deck. It was such a clear night, so quiet, so we decided to take advantage of it. And just the lighting the cruise ship has is so beautiful. The pools lit up, all neon lights. It was so nice, just under the stars. And it was just such a fun time just checking out all the nice scenery on the ship in the evening time when no one's around. It's just so peaceful and serene. And thank you so much again, guys, for being here. Make sure you stay tuned for my St. Kitts vlog that's coming next. So make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!